65,000 workers were let go in December, just before Christmas. And while that's an incredibly high number, so was the 381,000 workers who were recruited last year as employers went on a hiring spree. Overall, the labour market has shrunk back to where it was in October, just as the Black Friday sales were about to heat up. Unfortunately, the job hunt will only get more difficult, especially given Australia's population grew by more than 600,000 people last year and will still rise quickly in the months ahead, while the number of positions and job ads are trending downwards. So what will this mean for interest rates? Money markets are betting rates have hit their peak and the Reserve Bank will probably stay on hold for a while. But as the year goes on, they're pricing in a 100% chance of a rate cut by September, as inflation is likely to have come down enough for interest rates to be relaxed a little. Meanwhile, it was another bad day for the share market, which has been falling for almost every day this year. The ore lords slipped by 0.6 of a percent today, driven by losses across the mining sector. The Aussie dollar also tumbled down to about 65.5 US cents, having dropped 4% since the year began. It comes after a gloomy session for most of the major overseas markets, as doubts linger on how quickly central banks in the US and Europe will cut their interest rates. And finally, it was a rough day for commodities as well, with fairly significant falls in gold, oil and iron ore prices. And that's finance.